Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're up to item five of my winter outlook review. I thought with all those clippers that were coming into the area with a storm track over us, we would see a lot of windy days this winter. Well, here's how it broke down. Days when we had wind gusts over 20 miles per hour, there were 43 of them almost every other day. Then there were six times when the wind gusted over 30 miles per hour. And one time there, just about a week ago at the end of the winter, we had a day when it was over 40. So when you add all those up, that was 50 of the 90 days, more than half of our days, we had winds gusting over 20 miles per hour. So yeah, it was a, a winter filled with a lot of wind. There's the record at the bottom. We'll continue to track this and look at more items in my winter outlook next week. March so far, after a cold February, is warmer than normal by 4.2 degrees and just wait. So you see the temperatures coming up for next week. Today was a pretty typical day. I mean, we were two degrees above normal for the high. We were three below for the normal. So about normal across the area today. 76, a record high. But look at this. Back in the 70s, we had a lot of cold weather. 1978, this day, 11 below zero for the record low. No precipitation today. None for the month. None expected over the next few days. But that's going to change as we get into next week. Sunrise, sunset tomorrow as you start your weekend. We're over 11 and a half hours of daylight. River stage in Terre Haute, 17.8. It crusted a couple days ago. It's now starting to fall in the Terre Haute area. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, we're at 48. Winds are northeast at 10. So there's a little bit of a wind chill. It feels like 43. And the pressure is pretty high. High pressure is in control of our weather. Temperatures in the 40s all across the area. 42 Crawfordsville, 47 Bloomington, 45 over in Robinson, Illinois. Right now on the water vapor satellite. This storm here is being shoved south by high pressure, so it's staying away from us. Big storm. See this? Big storm on the west coast. <coughs> that's the one that's going to move in here and bring us a chance of wet weather and a change in our weather pattern the middle and the end of next week. But it's still way out here off the west coast tonight. For us, this storm dropping south is spreading some cloud cover across some of our southern counties, more so than the north. The north has seen more sun today. The south has seen more clouds as that storm passes by. But there's nothing falling from those clouds, so we're all clear on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. Nothing expected tonight, just a few clouds. We'll call it partly cloudy. Tomorrow looks like a good day partly to mostly sunny at times. There may be some clouds around, but a good day. Tomorrow night looks fine. As we get into the day Sunday, slightly warmer Sunday. You'll notice the winds will change to the southeast on Sunday, so we'll warm up a little bit and a few clouds. But I tell you, overall, a real nice weekend. When is it going to rain again? It is going to next week. Watch what happens. About Wednesday will be the earliest. So we have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, dry. Rain chances on Wednesday, although that would be minor. I think the bigger rains would come as we get into the day Thursday and Friday. This could be somewhat heavier rain, maybe some thunderstorms mixed in. And now I want to show you something interesting. This is the nine day. So now here we are a week from today. This is the next Friday. That system kind of moves out, and I'm going to kind of scan down to the southwest. Now look at this. Now this would now be coming up on the 14th, which would be a week from this weekend. A snow possibly. Oklahoma City, Wichita. Could that head our way? I mean, it is March. Weird things happen. We'll keep an eye on that, but that's down the road a little ways. Temperature-wise, you can see what happens. The cold air stays to the north. This is the really mild air. That overspreads the area as we head into next week, and we'll be camped out here. But see that? There's colder air up there. So what's going to happen? Well, long term now, this is March 13 to 19. We're showing normal. Now, remember, it's going to be above normal for part of that time. What this means is, overall, as we get into the second half of the month, I think we'll see some colder weather move in. Forecast tonight, clear and cold. We drop down to 26 during the day tomorrow. 52, not a bad day. Partly sunny skies out there, a northeast wind. And then after that, slightly warmer as we take you into the day on Sunday at 56. And next week, spring fever, highs in the 60s. Rain chances late Wednesday into Friday. Grant. Thank you, Jesse. Looking great straight ahead in